Our students who participate in early college, when they do matriculate to that four-year university, they are well better prepared for the rigor opportunities that we have for students. For example, the opportunities here today. Hello and welcome to The Focus Show. I'm your host, Josh Stuck. Today, our focus is the Wellness Expo, and to in tell us more about the Wellness Expo, we have Ms. Stephanie Bland. Ms. Bland, how are you today? I'm doing good, thank you. I'm glad to hear. So, I've heard about this Wellness Expo before, I think, but if you wouldn't mind telling me, what is the Wellness Expo? Uh, the Wellness Expo is a fun and engaging event that's put on for free for our faculty, staff, and their families. It's an event where we have a lot of local wellness-minded vendors come out and uh, help promote wellness. Oh, that's, that's very nice to hear. Okay. Uh, I, as I said, I think I'd heard of it before, so it's obviously been going on more than just this year, but uh, how long has it been going on? How many years has this been happening for? Uh, we kicked off wellness, the Wellness Expo in 2014. This will be our sixth Wellness Expo. Um, the, we did have to you know, cancel for some snow and COVID, of course, but we're really excited to be back. I'm glad that you're back because it sounds like such a magnificent resource for yes. the staffers to have. Mm -hmm. uh, what exactly is your involvement with the Wellness Expo? What role do you play? I am the lead project coordinator for wow. the Expo. Mm -hmm. So you must be doing quite a lot. Uh, when and where will the Wellness Expo be occurring this year? It will be Saturday, uh, March 25th uh, from 9 to 12 at Heritage High School. All right, very good to know, very good to know. So what types of things can people look forward to at this Wellness Expo? We will have a lot going on actually. Like I told you earlier, we have a ton of local <clears throat> wellness vendors coming out that you can visit. Uh, we will have fitness classes going on such as extreme hip hop dance, Zumba, uh, yoga. You can join in those. Uh, so you definitely wanna dress for fitness. We're gonna have a pre-retirement seminar where you can come out and learn about your retirement plan. Um, and ask questions. We will have a virtual stationary bike section where you can feel like you're really riding the trails. Um, there will be a relaxation room with a therapy dog if you wanna come in and just kinda unwind and visit with the dog. Uh, there'll be plenty of prizes to, we'll be raffling off to our employees. The first 125 of our employees will get a wellness gift bag along with a wellness t-shirt and um, yeah, so. That's very cool. Mm -hmm. I'm sure that many of the staffers are looking forward to it. This has been yeah. Miss Stephanie Bland. I am your host, Joshua Stuck, and the Focus Show will be right back after these quick messages. Welcome back to The Focus Show. I'm your host, Josh Stuck, and today we are interviewing Miss Stephanie Bland about Hi. the Wellness Expo. Uh, before the break, you had mentioned a lot of the different things that are available, uh, mm -hmm. but what can people learn by attending the Wellness Expo this year? Uh, we hope people can learn that there is a ton of different resources right here in our community that can help them with their wellness goals. All right, that's 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 a great message to have. I feel like that really resonates with a lot of people, myself included. Um, but how important would you say that this expo is to Newport News Public Schools? It's very important to Newport News Public Schools because um, you know Newport News Public Schools cares about their NMPS's family and NMPS family health and wellness and uh, you know 
we just our goal is to move, eat, think, and be well. I, I, that is a goal to aspire to for everyone, I think. That is a magnificent goal for everyone to have. And with that goal in mind, how can the community as a whole benefit from this Wellness Expo? Well, this event is twofold um, because we do bring a lot of our local uh, businesses to our employees, but we also bring a large group of people to uh, the local businesses. So it's definitely full circle. Really? So we're bringing eyes to the community, we're bringing eyes to these small businesses, mm -hmm. and we're still giving resources to everyone. That is magnificent. So I guess I'll just follow that up with one more question. Looking into the future, what can we expect from the Expo next year? More. Uh, we just <laughs> want to bring more. We want to bring, uh, make it bigger, more vendors, more prizes, just more fun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Always good to have more fun involved. And if there was something you could add if there's anything more you'd like to tell us from your own personal notes that I may not have asked you about yet, what would you like to tell people about the Expo? Um, this is a family event, so definitely bring your family out. We will have a large uh, bounce house there, obstacle course bounce house there uh, for the kids to play on, and we just are really excited to see our NNPS family come out for just a day of fun. Well, thank you very much, Miss Stephanie Bland. I'm looking forward to the Expo now myself. I've been your host, Joshua Stuck. This has been The Focus Show. I look forward to seeing you all next time.